coming in from politicians from Amravati, including Ravi Rana, who's an MLA from the area. He's also the husband of uh, Navneet Rana, the member of parliament representing Amravati. And uh, Ravi Rana has demanded that the Amravati commissioner of police be expelled for what he calls is a case of negligence in the murder of Umesh Kolhe. Let's listen into that reaction. अमरावती की सांसद नवनीत राणा ने अमरावती की स्थिति को पूछा इस हत्या के पीछे क्या कारण है उन्होंने बार बार ये कहा कि ये रॉबरी है इस आयुक्त ने ये बात इस बात को छुपाया उस परिवार को प्रेशर लाया जिस तरह से उदयपुर के अंदर अधिकारियों पे निलंबन हुआ कार्रवाई हुई उसी तरह उसी प्लान के आधार पे मुख्यमंत्री और डिप्टी सी एम से मैं मांग करने वाला हूँ कि वहाँ के सी को निलंबन करना चाहिए let me go back once again to Arunil. Arunil, this has been an allegation coming in uh, from the BJP as well for quite some time now that there was a concerted attempt on the part of the police in Amravati to play down the incident. They've even accused of, uh, them of trying to play this, act, or play this out as an act of robbery when in fact it was a lot more sinister. Well, that is right. In fact, uh, Namneet Rana, Ravi Rana, all the Amravati leaders, Anil Bonde as well, the Rajya Sabha MP, he has also spoken about it, saying that why was it was it prevented as an act of robbery when no money was taken from uh, Umesh Kole and. Clearly, in fact, the brother, Mahesh Kohli, I spoke to him yesterday, he also said that on the second or the third day, around five of the accused were already arrested by the Amravati police. And the son of Umesh Kohli was asked about these messages, whether the, such kind of messages uh, linking to Nupur Sharma were being circulated by uh, Umesh Kohli. His phone was also being uh, seen thoroughly. Then why uh, the, the details were not diverse at that time? Was there any mounting pressure that was being imposed on uh, uh, the Amravati CP and the Amravati police by the Mahavika Sagadi that was in power at that time. That is the very uh, pertinent question that uh, comes to the fore. All these developments that we have been seeing that have happened and taken place only and only after uh, the new government has come into power in the state of Maharashtra, that is CM Ekta Chinde uh, taking charge along with Deputy CM Devendra Fadnavis, as well as since the Home Minister of India, Amit Shah, tweeted about it saying that the National Investigation Agency will be, uh, will be investigating this matter now. It is extremely, extremely uh, gruesome, uh, uh, Siddharth, because I visited uh, the medical shop of... Uh, uh, Mr. Kole as well and just a few meters from that medical shop he was hacked to death in such a way in front of a hospital he was immediately rushed to the hospital but he couldn't survive the attack this was the third such attempt that was made on him earlier as well twice the attackers had tried to kill him but their attempts were failed uh, due to several other reasons so yes a full-fledged plan was being made and when this kind of an attack had uh, taken place, why the Amravati police didn't pay any heed to it, didn't pay any heed to the threat calls that several people have been re receiving, that was before the death of uh, Umesh Kole, that is extremely baffling because if Amravati police would have, would have investigated and looked into it, then probably Umesh Kole's life would have been saved and also the life of uh, Kadaya Lal from Udaipur.